California Coastal Commission The Commission's total budget for fiscal year 2019 to 2020 was $32,086,000 The total compensation of the Commission's Executive Director John L. Ainsworth was $254,000 in 2019, Charles F. Lester's was $177,000 in 2015, and Peter M. Douglas's was $213,000 in 2011. For areas with certified LCPs, the Commission does not issue coastal development permits, and is instead responsible for reviewing amendments to a local agency's LCP, or reviewing coastal development permits issued by local agencies which have been appealed to the Commission. On the Commission's ability to practically dictate how coastal land is used, Jeff Jennings, the mayor of Malibu commented, the Commission basically tells us what to do, and we're expected to do it. And in many cases that extends down to the smallest details imaginable, like what color you paint your houses, what kind of light bulbs you can use in certain places. Effect on housing supply and demand University of California researchers concluded the commission had a restrictive effect on housing supply. A study conducted at the University of California, Santa Barbara said that the commission increased housing prices by restricting supply thereby harming renters, future home buyers, and owners of undeveloped land. Existing homeowners in the commission's jurisdiction were beneficiaries of home price increases and of course those who partake in the beach access, open space, and natural amenities enforced by the commission are also beneficiaries. In agreeing to end lawsuits brought by the state of California, the California Parks and Recreation Commission, the Native American Heritage Commission and the Save San Onofre Coalition, Orange County Tollway officials withdrew their approval in 2016 and agreed in a legal settlement to preserve San Onofre State Beach. Commission Executive Director Peter Douglas said the fireworks organizer, the Wallala Festivals Committee, simply refused to work with the commission. So the commission set new conditions for approval in 2021, only move sand from the parking lot during commission-approved times, drive a sand truck only on the commission-approved route, hire a scientist to cultivate plants on sand dunes, relocate a septic system, pay for dune fences, pay for a study of traffic, pay for public beach restrooms, pay for public trash collection, haul nearby public fire pits, pay for signs, charge rates decided by the commission for parking and rentals, investigate cypress tree removal, and report back to the commission every year. While Commission Executive Director Peter M. Douglas said the view of pastoral areas from the sea to the land without human structures intervening is very important, the Second District Court of Appeal ruled in a unanimous 2006 opinion, we believe that it is unreasonable to assume that the legislature has ever sought to protect the occasional voters' views of the coastline at the expense of a coastal landowner. Promotion The Commission employs public information professionals who disseminate information to residents. The Commission utilized the endorsement of beloved poet Amanda Gorman and other celebrities for the Commission's advertising and tax-deductible donation campaign suggesting donate on your California tax form. The Commission's logo was designed by the digital branding and advertising agency Fine which has also worked for companies such as Scooter Company Lime and software firm Norton, AC0927BBDB0E.